Hey everyone, welcome to this video, custom handmade aluminum mailbox. So first, if you're gonna work with aluminum, make sure you get the right saw blade. This is a blade designed specifically for non-ferrous metals. Oh, and also by the way, I'm at a farm sanctuary right now, so I waited until late because the animals are usually quiet, but if you hear some honking and screeching, the, the uh, peacocks get a little excited sometimes. Anyway. So this is some used checker plate you're seeing. I bought new material, but I didn't buy quite enough. So I ended up buying a piece of used as well. So that's why you see me scrubbing it down, getting it clean. Scuffing it up here because I'm gonna paint it. Paint it here better. Decided to curve cut and bend the material as much as I could because cutting through meant that I would then have to join it all, which meant a lot of brazing or a lot of rivets. And also cutting right through throws a lot of shrapnel. It's really uncomfortable. Because it's 1 8 thick checker plate, I'm able to cut halfway through and it's still fairly strong. And it's nice too, even for cutting it, to bend it like that and snap it off. Doing some brazing for the areas I couldn't bend. The brazing didn't go as well as I'd hoped. I don't have a lot of experience brazing aluminum. That might be part of the problem, but also from my experience with welding, I know that welding sheet goods can be tricky because it's easy to burn right through the material and that's what happened once or twice while I was working on it. Here I decided to switch over to rivets where I could so I put in some angle for rails on the bottom and then that allowed me to put the, the floor on using rivets which are totally secure and turned out to be easier than the raising using the curve cutting method again just to do some angles but, using, but doing it with the angle iron rather than the table saw uh, using a scratch awl to do all my measuring there hacksaw works well for small cuts if you haven't used pop rivets before you just drill a hole slide them in and then tool pulls out this center I guess shaft you might call it they're pretty handy little devices. Of course, smoothing out the edges. Not a whole, I tried to avoid grinding as much as I could because aluminum is so soft that it tends to fold over rather than cut away the way steel does. Auto body filler, not Bondo brand, to fill in the, the rough edges. Curve bending again for the fenders. Here I've applied a layer of primer uh, and then I did some, some light sanding with a thousand grit just to get the primer smooth. Where I was using the power sander was where I had used auto body filler. It wasn't quite as smooth as I liked it. Obviously put the shaft on with some wheels. The wheels are just pre-purchased the way they are. I thought about making wheels but pre-purchase was so much easier and it looks good. I decided to put a wood floor on the inside. I had to drill out the underside of the floor here just to accommodate for a few rivets that were popping through for the axle. You know, what do you call them? Brackets, I guess, that I made. Uh, but because it's a mailbox, it'll be outdoors, so I didn't want absorbing moisture, so I put some water locks on the wood back to the auto body filler handy stuff for cleaning up rough edges filling in gaps I haven't used it in so long I couldn't remember, remember the rate, proper ratio I guess I guessed well applying paint I have painted the whole thing black first and then applied the red over top which I thought kind of looked cool because it darkened up the red in a nice way here I'm going to set in a magnet that'll be used to hold the door closed. Now, because aluminum is non-ferrous, of course the magnet won't hold the door just on its own. Uh, my plan was to put a magnet on the inside there, as you see what's happening now. I'm just screwing it in because it's, it's glued to wood, you saw I was doing the, doing the epoxy. And then put a magnet on the door as well, and they would 
cling together. Now, that didn't work as well as I was hoping. So what I ended up doing was putting a metal plate on the inside of the door. Steel plate, that is. So the magnet holds the steel plate. So that's it. I hope you like it. Judging from the response I got on Facebook when I posted a photo, it seems like it was a pretty popular little project. I certainly enjoyed doing it, and the, the person who hired me to make it is quite satisfied as well. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you didn't mind the peacocks if you heard them, because they're still going now. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.